Stephen, you were a tough guy. Okay, we've gone through all these measures. Everybody's hurt. Blake Griffin, what is it? I don't know. I mean... You know, people that, that, that don't watch the game or don't know the game, they'll just say, oh, he just hates LeBron. I love LeBron. I think LeBron is going, going, going down as one of the best ever, if not already. But anyway, I'm really high on LeBron. But I know for a fact, if he played in the NBA 15 years ago, his stats wouldn't be where they are, and he wouldn't, be, he wouldn't have played every game this season. <laughs> He would have definitely had some injuries because somebody would have slammed him to the floor, yeah. fouled him hard. You know, hard fouls are not a part of the game no more. So, but. Uh, no, I think that's, I don't think you're being changed. unfair. I think you're completely 100% accurate. Right. It's, right. A, it's a cardio league. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's, it's not a physical league. It's a cardio league. And, and uh, to <laughs> me, when I watch LeBron play, a lot of guys just doing what the people in the stands doing. Starstruck. <laughs> wow, it. LeBron, do it again. I want to see it. Not even trying to block a shot or nothing like that. Um, Tony Parker uh, was so brutally honest this weekend. I can't wait to get on this. Okay, so Tony Parker, Kawhi Leonard, who came into the league, he's a, he's a quiet kid. He's not a talker. He's nonverbal. Um, that's why, you know, when people compare him to LeBron, I'm like, he's the anti-LeBron. He doesn't talk. Right. He, he, he's literally silent. He's not a big passer. He's not a... He is a hard-working kid. He has an injury. Uh, he Something happens with the Spurs training staff. He kind of disengages. They get him back. There's a team meeting. Anyway, Tony Parker comes out and talks about Kawhi Leonard and his injury, and here's what Tony Parker said. I've been through it. It was a rehab for me, too, for eight months, you know, so uh, same kind of injury. Uh, my mind was a uh, hundred times worse, but the same kind of injury, and uh, just try to stay positive. I could have gone anywhere, but... Uh, I trust my Spurs doctors. They've been with me, you know, my whole career. They know my body better than anybody. I feel like we have the best uh, medical team uh, in the world. Oh boy! So he's basically saying I had a <laughs> my injury was way worse. So what is he saying about Kawhi Leonard, Stephen? Well, first of all, let me say this: Will Sevening is one of the best trainers ever. You know I, him. I know him. Will Sevening with the Spurs. He's one of the best guys, best trainers ever. Right? Okay. If you know anything about the Spurs. You know, Pop has his three guys. If you don't know who his three guys is, I can't talk to you about the Spurs. Tony Parker, Ginobili, Tim Duncan. These are his guys. He's not going against anybody for these three guys, okay? News flash world. He's not going against anybody over these three guys. Pop, anything that comes out in the media or anything that needs to be... Uh, uh, said, uh, distributed, said or distributed down to the team. Right. It comes from Pop through Tony and Ginobili. Now, y'all might not believe this, but the, the meeting that was so say threw up on Kawhi after a game, yeah. that, was, that came down from Pop to those guys. They didn't do that on their own. Tony don't have the balls to do that. Ginobili don't, Ginobili don't have the balls to do that, okay? They, they, they just not outspoken guys, and, and, and I don't think nobody feared them to respect their word, right? Yeah. So that came from t uh, up top, no question. Pop is the greatest coach ever. I love Pop. But Pop loves these three guys. Yeah. And he's loyal to these three guys before anybody. And they're loyal to him. They're definitely loyal to him. But for Tony to come out and make this statement about his, his uh, uh, hamstring or quad was, was, was worse than, uh, is worse than, 100 times worse than Kawhi's, is so low. Like it's, and, and the timing of it is even worse. You know, you, 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 you talk about this meeting. Y'all want him on the team. Is he going to be with us or not? And now, all, all of a sudden, this last week, you and Ginobili both come out and talk about it at the same time. Like, like I played on this organization. They came at me sideways before when Pop asked me to say other people was better than me. So I know. And I know how selfish Tony is because he's the reason why we lost in 14 uh, against, against OKC because he didn't want to pass the ball game six after I had hit six threes in a row. So I know the type of person Tony is. He can't be selfish. And by this comment, I wouldn't be surprised if this makes Kawhi want to leave. Because, because when your teammates going against you in the media like that and not having your back, you know that's coming from up top. Why would you want to be there? You, know, you think Kawhi knows it's coming from up top. Man, look, Kawhi might not say nothing, but he's smarter than a lot of people think. 
He don't have to say it. I know a lot's going on in his mind right now. Nobody wants to play the game more than Kawhi. Nobody wants to be great or go down as one of the greatest more than Kawhi. So his heart and his passion, and if he want to play basketball, should never be questioned. And by the fact that that came from Tony like that, that's super low. I, I lost a lot of respect for Tony because they always say, well, this is the class act. This is the class organization. That was low coming from a, one of your teammates. So basically, Pop wanted that out. Pop wanted to send his gospel out to the masses. Anytime it comes out, it, trust me, they don't just say things without talking to Pop. When has this ever happened? When have you ever heard something from the Spurs to just come out <laughs> out, out, out the blue? No, it never does that. Trust me, Pop has control over everything. And what Tony said and that meeting, all this pressure that's coming on Kawhi, it's coming from up top. You were really good there. I Thanks. like when you bring it. I, I love it. I like when you broadcast <laughs> like you play hard. <laughs> okay, finally. So, you know, I used to say this about Kobe Bryant a lot. When Kobe Bryant either drove or helicoptered to the arena every night, mm -hmm. Kobe wanted to be respected and wanted to score. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be the only scorer. And there is an incredible burden. Michael wanted his points. Kobe wants his points. They don't want to be there, there's a huge burden knowing that you have to be the star of the team and talk to the press before the game and talk mm -hmm. to the press after the game yeah. and score 28 a night. And by the way, if there's any problems in the locker room, you got to deal with that. And when guys get hurt and you don't, people say, how come you lost last night? And you want to say, because that guy was hurt, but you got to say, okay. So before LeBron James played with Kyrie, Kyrie was always hurt. It's called a diva. Mm -hmm. Then LeBron shows up and everybody's like, Kyrie is the man. And then he says, I... Uh -huh. Being a Kobe, being a Magic, being a Duncan, being a LeBron, you drive to the arena every night, and it's all on you. Mm -hmm. Kyrie has never shown me, pre or post LeBron, he can physically handle it, mm -hmm. and I don't know if he can emotionally handle it. Right. Am I wrong? No, you're not, you're not wrong. I mean, this is definitely something that he asked for. And um, that knee, you know, when you get a knee injury, it, it's crazy because you never know how it linger on. But he's in a different situation, and he, ha he has to understand that. And, you know, I've, I've had that role and I wasn't even the star of the team. I was the guy that had to be the vocal leader. I was the guy that the media came to after the games because, as you know, I'm going to answer honest. If a guy, if I felt a guy on my team shouldn't have played and he didn't play You'll because he was hanging out or something, I'm going to say it because it's, it's, hurting, it's hurting this whole group. So, but with Kyrie, I think one thing that helps him is everybody knows he's a great person. He's a great kid, and... Do you think he ever gave LeBron true respect? Do you think there's a little bit, do you think there's 5% in him that thinks LeBron did make it easier? It should be 70, 80% in Kyrie that's saying LeBron made it easier. I mean, I, I don't even think Kyrie would deny that. Okay. I don't, he, as, as, he a realist. He wouldn't deny that playing with LeBron, his job was a lot easier. He has a lot on his hands, but this is what you asked for. You ask, you ask for to have your old team. You ask for to be the star of your team. You have to carry this team. And I don't think that this knee injury is going to stop him from being the player that we want him to be. I just think we all worried about to see if he can carry this team to being a, a finals or a Eastern Conference He's Championship team. He's never proven to me. Never, to no one. Except for the days that LeBron was around, he couldn't prove it before, and now he's hurt again later. I like him. I think he's great. I think he can do it, though. All right. I, 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 got, I, I have my doubts. I don't. Yeah. All right. You bring your A game today. Thanks. I really, you didn't mail it in. You're not one of these guys hurt, hobbled, can't play. Nah, nah. You brought it. My you worst, gave me like 38 minutes. My worst, my worst injury was a pinky. Pinky, <laughs> broken pinky. I'm ready to go at all times. Steven, good seeing you, buddy. <laughs> you too. When shopping for car insurance, consider Geico's been saving people money on it for 75 years. If you're serious, pretty simple. Go to geico.com. After 75 years, they know how to save you money. Calling right, calling wrong. Top of the hour. In L.A., it's the hurt. One hundred and sixty-two games, and you want to see them all. Now you can. Only T-Mobile gives you an entire season of MLB TV for free. Stream your team anytime from almost anywhere, because your stadium should be wherever you make it. 
Join T-Mobile and get free MLB TV all season. Heartburn. No one burns on my watch. Try Alka-Seltzer, ultra-strength heartburn relief chews with more acid-fighting power than Tums Chewy Bites. Mmm, amazing. I have heartburn. Heartburn relief from Alka-Seltzer. Enjoy the relief. Introducing the most advanced Infinity ever made. The all-new 2019 Infinity QX50. Infinity. Empower the drive. People know me as a volleyball player, but I'm a cross trainer as well. I run, I lift, I do yoga, and that means sore knees, that means sore back, that means sore everything. KT Tape helps me push past it. Serious athletes use KT Tape to relieve pain and aching muscles and joints. Super easy to apply. Use it for many common injuries. Get it today at a store near you, or buy online and get 20% off. With KT Tape, I know that I...